Alrighty, ready to rock and roll. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the Ball Conditioning. Um, this is your first time joining us. Again, my name is Brian. Thank you guys for coming today. Um, happy Tuesday. We are on uh, phase five of metabolic conditioning. We're on the fourth week, the final week of phase five. We're just fin finishing up this ESD portion of that and we'll transition on to a new phase next week. Uh, today we're doing an upper body pull, lower body push workout. Very similar to Friday's workout, but instead of working with pauses like we, uh, our tempos that we did on Friday, we're doing adding a little additional pauses at the end of the workout. Um, we're gonna start with our pillow prep and we'll continue on. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna lay on our side. Yes, we know we're not taking naps. We're doing a 90 90 arm sweep and take our arms, stack on top of, on top of one another. My knees are tucked. I'm gonna rotate up and around. Keep my hand on the ground, drop my opposite shoulder to the ground, and come on back. Let's take a deep breath in, open on up, exhale, and drop that shoulder down, open up that chest. Do a three or four each side. If you want to hold it there for additional like 10 seconds, go for it. Once again, get three or four in each way. I'm going to do one more on this side, and then I'm going to switch. And then I'm going to go to the other side. Make sure those knees are tucked and those shoulders are in line with sunlight. Rotate up and around. Focus on that breath. Step back, the king's side. Finish it up that last one. You're going to roll onto your back. Bring you a single leg loop bridge. So put your feet shoulder width apart. Lift up those hips. And then from there, well, wait, it isn't your butt down, but you make sure you only lift your leg up, your knees are in alignment. So my one foot's that way up here, my one foot's that way down here, it's right in line with the other knee, and then I'm driving through the ground. Get about eight repetitions on one leg, and then eight on the other leg. Driving through that heel, kind of bring your foot close to your butt. You want to make it a little more difficult? Never put your foot on the ground. Bring it a little bit closer and then drive on it up. Get eight on one side, switch it up, eight on the other. Get the blues engaged and firing right away in the morning here. Up your last one or two repetitions. What we got next? Next one we're going to do is a scat push up. So, in that push up position, you know, all you're doing is your arms straight, you're letting your chest fall through your shoulders, and then push through the ground. So, let that chest fall, drive through the ground. Get six to eight of them in. Take your time with this one. Just keep those, all those arms bent, keep them straight, but just let the chest fall, squeeze the shoulder blade together. Finishing up those repetitions, come up to our feet. Finish our pillow from the single leg already out. Single leg already yell, pick up one leg up. I like putting my hands over my head, pulsing my balance, you want your arms out, that's fine too. But keep that leg up behind you, and have that chest fall, and then bring everything through. Think about it, if your chest goes down, your leg comes up, and you can't do one without the other. Put your four repetitions on each leg, 
work on that balance, get a little stretch in that hamstring. Take your time with this. Try to extend that head behind you. Really push those hips back. The second two finish up those repetitions. I'm just going to kind of talk about our movement prep going into next. We're going to be doing two rounds of movement prep, same as last week. We're going to do 25 seconds on, 10 seconds off. The four exercises we're going to do, the first one, just a good warning. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have my hands crossed. I like to put my hands here. So I bend my knees, big chest. I'm going to push my hips back, count to RDL, and drive my hips through, but there's no weight to my hands. So big chest, so I bend my knees. Hips go back, hips come through. If your chest isn't big, back is good around, and we don't want that position. We want a good, solid flat back to drive our hips up and through. After that, we're going to be bent over at Y's and T's. So same position, bowing over, thumbs up, go Y, go T. Squeeze those shoulder blades, take your time with this exercise. You want to work the smaller muscles in the shoulders, so going back to that position point. Now we're going to do a knee cradle or a leg cradle. One hand's going to go on the knee, one hand's going to go on the shin. I'm going to hug it and then go into reverse lunge. Knee, shin, hug it, go into reverse lunge. Alternating sides. And then after that, we're going to lateral quick feet. Get the feet going forward back and then working laterally with it. Your arms, get that heart rate up a little bit. And do two rounds of that, and then we'll go into our ESD. So make sure you're Get your warm up and ready before we go into that. All right. First exercise, good morning. Let's get our hamstring loosened up. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Looking for my time. All right, 25 seconds, good morning. So we go three, two, one, we're rolling. Push those hips back, drive those hips through. Time with this, keep that chest big. Are we doing a RDL today? It's the same exact movement with this, but we'll have weights in our hands. Two, one, relax. Shake it out. Maybe bring your arms around. Get those warmed up. Mine are a little tight from yesterday. We're going to go over, bend over lines and T's here in three, two, one. Let's hit it. Keep your thumbs up. Alternating between the Y and the T. And have control of your arms, the lungs fly down. Two, one, relax. And going down that uh, leg cradle, reverse lunge next. Grab that knee, grab that shin here in two. One, we're headed, alternating sides. Taking a big step back on those lunges. Short time here. Two, one, relax. Finish up those light on quick feet. Here we go. Two, one, we're hitting it. Get back to this mission. Go, 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 lose those arms. Two, one, relax. One more time through. Back to those good mornings. Bend these big chest. Here we go. Two, one, let's hit it. There's those hips back a little bit farther. Feel that stretch in the hamstrings.
Time in two, one, relax. Bend over wise and teeth. Here we go. Two, one, let's hit it. Control your arms, control those hands, don't let them fall down. Alternate in between the two, keeping those thumbs up. Two, one, relax. Now let me play a trail reverse lunge here. Two more as we move across. Here we go. Two. One, let's hit it. Big step back and little reverse lunges. Woo! You keep your balance as well on those. Here we go, two, one, relax. Final quick beat, last one here before you escape. Here we go, two, one, let's hit it. And see, going forward and back. Quick, here we go, go, go. Two, one, relax. Stand up, walk around, shake it on out, grab that sip of water. You're going to be going right into our hands, get your necks, picking up that pace. Progression for ESD this week doesn't change. That's your, it's your goal to push that intensity, push that pace. You give your 100% effort today. You'll be getting better. How we're going to do this, we're going to do three exercises. The first exercise will be 15 seconds. Second will be 20. Third will be 25. We'll do that three times through. Take a breather and we'll do it one more time through. The three exercises we're going to do, the first one's going to be fast hands forward and back. I'm going to be in that push-up position. I'm going to pretend there's an imaginary line. Hands go forward, hands go back. Work in here. Squeeze that core. Make sure you're flexing up in the air. You're not down here. As much as a shoulder exercise it is, it's also core. Being able to stabilize. After that, you're going to need some weight. We're going to a push press. So, out of weight here. On my shoulders, I'm going to move quick with them. I'm going to dip. Press up my head. So you can see a side view. I'm just doing a core squat down. I use my whole body to drive over my head. Working fast here for that 20 seconds. And then the 25 seconds will be skaters. So I'm staying low, coming across my body, and then I'm alternating sides and working here. Trying to reach for the ground if you're able to. Do that three times through. I'll take over here. All right. Grab that small water if you need one. Make sure the weights are in standby. For the push press. First round of EFD. All right, let's get in that push up position. 15 seconds here, four back hands. Here we go. Three, two, one, let's hit it. First round here. Trying to get a little faster each time you see these exercises. Squeeze that core. Here we go. Two, one, relax. Grab those weights. Here we go. Two, one. Let's hit it. Dip and punch. Driving over that head. Two, one, relax. Going to those skaters here. And two, 
One, let's head it. Try to stay low, keeping that leg back. Keep that chest big. Try not to look down at the ground. Look up. Come on, come on. Two, one, relax. Okay, got one, that's one. Eight, two, two, don't got a whole lot of traction in here. Let's get back in that push up position. Nice hands forward, back. Hit in three, two, one, we're going. 15 seconds once again. Two, one, relax. Push press, grab those weights. Two, one, let's hit it. Give a punch, drop it on that head. Go fast, be quick. Do that whole body. Two, one, relax. Gators. Here we go. Two, one, we're working. 25 seconds here. Just big. Final little rhythm. Here we go. Come on, come on. Two, one, relax. One more time through. Have your weights. Have that push-up position. Last time. Here we go. Three, two, one. We're headed for the match. Two, one. Relax. Grab those weights here. Three, two, one. Prohibit. Make sure you have a wide base. Grab it over that head. Two, one. Relax. Here we are. Two. One, working. Big rest after this. Here we go. Come on, come on. Nice job. Four time. Two, one, relax. Stay on move. Stay on walk around. Grab some water. First time I use these done. Control that breathing. In through your mouth, out through your nose. In through your nose, out through your mouth. To me, personally, it does not matter. As long as you get some type of control of your breath, whether it's coming in or coming out. One more time through this. We'll get going around to about 30 seconds. So plenty of time to get that heart rate down. Push that tempo here even faster than last time. Get that strength power in the end. You need to be tired for it to be the most effective. So push that tempo, don't say anything. Let's come back to center. Let's get rolling. 
on that push up position this time through the push ups. Let's go side to side instead of forward and back. Going laterally now, right and left with your hands. Still that solid core position. Side to side push ups. Let's hit it. Round two, three, two, one. We're working side to side now. Squeezing that core. A little bit quicker than last time. Two, one, relax. Grab those weights. Here we go. Two, one, we're hitting it. 20 seconds, dip and punch. Have a wide base, so make sure your feet aren't down. Get wide of them. Use that whole body to punch to the ceiling. Two, one, relax. Here we go. Two, one, we're working. We're working here. Have that little hop, a little faster pace. I'm slipping and sliding all over the place today. It's like I'm on ice. <laughs> Short time here. Two, one, relax. Two more, come on. Push that side, side, fast hands. Three, two, one, we're working. Side to side. Crossing over that magic line. Two, one, relax. Grab the weight. Two, one, four. Tempo, go faster. Come on. Use that whole body. Shoulder getting tired. Use your legs. Push through the ground. Two, one, relax. Here. Here we go. Two, one, we're hitting it. Fast and efficient. You're leaving it all on the line here. Here we go. Two, one, relax. One more time, here. All right, last five rounds. Last hands. Let's hit it here in three, two, one. We're working. Last time through as quick as you can. Quick, quick, quick. Squeeze that core. Two, one. Relax. Grab your weights. Here we go. Two, one. We're hitting it. Nice job, drive the ceiling. Two, one, relax. Here. Last one, two, one, we're working. Last time here. Reach on down, hop in those steps. Go, go, go. Short time, keep working. Two, one, relax. Walk around. Control your re aim. Lay it down. Then walk around.
until I want to do that ESD. I'm going to my strength power rounds. As you guys are hanging on out, I'm going to go through exercise so we get done at a good time. So the exercise this week, very similar to Friday. We did a lot of temple stuff on Friday, and we worked on our pauses. But in between, the ability to stay tight. So, the first exercise we're doing is an RDL. Why have to be at three seconds on the way down? I still want that slow tempo, but you don't need to count the three seconds. You're going to pause in the middle or at the bottom. If I bend my knees, big chest, my hips go back just like those good mornings, and I'll dump out, slide down when I come my shins. When they get to my mid shin, I'm pausing for a second or two, and then I'm driving those hips through and I'm standing up tall. When you get down in that mid position and you're pausing, your first initial thought is my hips are driving through them to stand up, not my chest. Your chest is going to come with it, but the hips are the initial driver. After that, you're going to find a spot on the ground. We're going to do some push ups, but it's not tempo today. It's going to be a pause. So, in that push up position, I'm going to get off your knees. It doesn't matter. You get down, you pause for a second, you punch up. Go down, squeeze, drive up and through. When you're down there and you start that initial push, don't let your elbows flare out. Keep them in and drive through them. That's where the focus is going to come into play. You guys are tired, you're fatigued. You need to have the focus on the RDLs, the hips coming through, on the push of the elbows driving through. After that, we're using blue bridge marching. Just done this before. Get the blue activation here. Hips up, small steps. Keep them tight the entire time. Finish on and up, then alternating or the single arm uh, overhead press. So I'm gonna have this one dumbbell on my shoulder, I'm gonna tap it, I'm gonna press overhead. What you don't see from this camera view is I'm staying tight with my core. I'm not leaning back or I'm not twisting at an angle to get it up. I'm staying everything's even across my shoulder, across my core, and I'm pressing over that head. I'll do a little on one side and then I'll switch it up. Alright, you guys know it. We'll run through it. Grab those weights, those RDLs, knees are lighter, go for it. Try to increase those weights to the sets. Bring over 35 seconds, but again, hold set technique, you're not rushing for time. Alright, here we go. Three, two, one. We're working. Hips back, pause the bottom, drive those hips through. Stay tight, be strong. You feel a stretch in your hamstrings, that's good. As they know, they're activated and engaged. The dry out will be powerful. Keep those shoulders back the entire time. Keep those dumbbells close to your body. Fly them down to the your chin. Two, one, relax. Take a push up position. On your knees, off your knees, so it doesn't matter. Stay tight. Feel free to break them up if you need to. Here we go. Two, one, your head side across the bottom. Drive through your elbows. Those are the driver that's going to keep your form in good alignment. Stay pausing at the bottom. Don't actually rest down there. <laughs> Short time here, get two, one or two more in. Two, one, relax. After that, glute bridge, marching. Roll on over, hips are up. Three, two, one, we're working. Small steps. Hips up, keep up the entire time. Feel the tension in your low back, squeeze your core. Ten more seconds, keep them up, keep marching, small steps here. Two, one, 
two, one, relax. Single arm over the press, grab the weight. And here we go. Two, one, work and squeeze that core. Tap that shoulder, press overhead, don't twist. If you need to grab a lighter weight, do so. Say, so I usually keep my hand not on my hip, maybe on your core. Feel it activate, feel it engage. So don't use your hand as a base. It's taken away from the core work we're doing. Switch sides here in two, one, we're switching on up. Tap that shoulder, press over that head, squeezing that core. Two, one, relax. Going back to the top, already yells once again. Grab those weights. Pause it in the middle. We're going to hit it here in three, two, one, we're working. Pause the bottom, drive your hips through. My shoulders are back the entire time, keeping that good old energy. Short time here, get one or two more in. Solid pause the bottom. Two, one, relax. Push up position. Pause in the middle here. Here we go. Three, two, one, we're working. Now those elbow feet of that driver, that initial push. If they don't start the push, they'll never catch up. Break them up if you need to, shake out your arms. Ten seconds. Two, one, relax. Roll on over. This time through, instead of marking, we're going to do glute, single leg glute bridge holds. I'll tell you which leg is down. Hit it here, both feet down there, two, one, hips are up, holding that position. Squeeze that core, so your tension's not in your back, all the activations in your glutes. Let's lift your left leg up, straight, not over your head, in alignment. Hips are still up though. Left leg down. Right leg up, extend it. Knees in alignment. Hips are still up. Right leg down, hips are both up. Roll up two, one, relax. Oh. Feel arm over the breath. All right, start on my left shoulder, hand on my core. Two, one, let's hit it. Squeeze your core, thighs in alignment, take the hand off the hip. So you don't like your hand there, you just put it on your side. You don't have it resting as a support. Switch hands, two. One, switch it up. Two, one, relax. Last time through. A little shorter this time, 
We have mostly repetitions. Increase the weight if you're able to, since we're decreasing the time. All right. Last time through, let's get those RDO, grab those weights. We're hitting it in three, two, one. We're working. Pause in the middle. Drive the hips through. Have those hips be the initial driver. Your chest doesn't come up as well, but those hips are starting. Two, one, relax. Push up position. There we go. Two, one, we're hitting. Pause the bottom. Push the top. On your knees or off your knees, just hit it and work. Two, one, relax. Go on your back. Hold those hips up for those good grip holds. We're starting with our left leg up here. Two, one, and it left leg up. Tips in alignment. Drive your foot through the ground. That's on it. Two, one, push it up. Whatever leg is down, drive through that foot hard. Keep those hips up. Two, one, relax. Last exercise. Here we go. Grab that weight. Focus on that good position. Hit here. Two, one, we're working. Squeeze that core. Punch over your head. Fight the lean. Two, one, switch sides. Two, one, relax. Weights are down. Grab a sip of water, walk around if you need to. So you're already kind of down up and maybe you can see. Wrapping up class here. When you're ready, let's take a seat on the ground real quick. Bring those legs in. Gonna go to a butterfly position. Drive down on your knees or push them down. Keep your legs out, both hands to the left. Oh, can't stretch very far today. <laughs> both hands to that leg. Stand up, let's go the other way, both hands to the right. And on up, both hands in the middle. When you're ready, sit on up. Well, that's all I have for you guys today. Thank you guys for joining. Metabolic conditioning. Uh, we have our stretch break later today. So if you're super sore from possibly class yesterday or uh, class this morning, hop on on at the noon hour. Otherwise, we'll catch you guys later. Thanks for joining today. Thank you. Yeah. Nice you. Yeah. Good one.